Alright guys, welcome to Versus Match with a Twist, where you guys vote, not really say who would win in this certain uh, aspect. And today I've got a doozy for you. Worst movie adaptation. Now, there are a lot, don't get me wrong, but I picked out four that I think really deserve to be on this video, uh, in this uh, matchup. Because again, this is something I could do again with a, bunch, with a few other movie adaptations, but I picked out four, four to five, that you could definitely see, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Starting off with Godzilla. Now, here's the thing, though, guys. I don't hate... I hate Godzilla, but I can still find good things in it. Wait, 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 don't... Come back, come back. I, I, the movie is a crock of shit, don't get me wrong. But there are things in here that I can enjoy. The soundtrack's pretty good. Uh, for a 90s movie, it had a pretty good soundtrack. Um, God's, even Zilla was turned into a recently good monster in Godzilla Rulers of Earth. They made him his own... Matt Frank and the writer of the comic made him his own kaiju and made him good. Again, I think God, if this creature wasn't called Godzilla and just called its own monster, I think we would have liked him all better, don't you? And that's what they did in Rulers of Earth. They made him a good monster. Plus, we got a pretty kick-ass animated show. You can't go wrong with that. <laughs> but having said all that, though, yeah, this movie is a, is a load of shit. Anyway, moving on. Next up is Transformers. Now, I picked out the first Transformers because while people can say that, yeah, this is the least annoying and least stupid out of all of them, and one people can tolerate, you gotta remember that this kicked off the rest of the films. This kicked off the rest of the crocs of shit you saw beforehand. Uh, again, this movie, you can tolerate it, keyword tolerate, but knowing that it created something, and looking back on this movie, yeah, this is not a great film, and, you know, the series that followed was less than, uh, it, it's, it's safe to say that, you know, this spawned a series that just, for some reason, to, the, to unknown to me, is still going, and is on its way to get a fifth, sixth, and supposedly seventh film. God damn it, and I helped! That's the problem here. I helped this this franchise through. <laughs> uh, I helped this franchise move along. After the last two movies, uh, yeah, I didn't want to watch it. I only saw the first two. I liked the first one because remember, I was young and impressionable. Second time, wow, that was terrible. Third time, I didn't go see it. I didn't want to go see it, but through no fault of my own, I ended up going. And fourth time, it was supposed to be father son uh, bonding and. My dad and I both agreed, walking out of that film, it was like, we helped that. We helped continue this franchise. We have burned money into Michael Bay's pocket. So yeah, Transformers, people. Next up is Dragon Ball Evolution. Now, unlike the Transformers movie, which I can find... Mm, I can find that the music, the music, uh, the, not the soundtrack itself, but with Linkin Park and all that, but the composed music is well done. I can find a, that little, the music composed in there is good, and I can go, yeah, the music is still good, I'd listen to that. In, I, can, I can find nothing good with Dragon Ball Evolution. Nothing in here... May, this, is like, this was the beginning of the fall of Dragon Ball Z to some people, and what pisses me off more is that this is getting a sequel. Apparently, yeah, guys, for those who don't know, this is apparently getting a sequel movie. I don't know how, because the but because it only got nine million back, it didn't even it didn't even make a quarter of what it made back. So it goes without saying is that it, it kind of it, it it boggles my mind basically. And yeah, this follows nothing of the original adaptation of Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z for that matter. So I have no clue how this is getting a sequel and how this movie was even made. Excuse me. <sighs> and finally, oh boy, yeah, this, this. If you want to talk about bad at movie adaptations of show of beloved shows or movie characters in general, look no further than this. M Night Shyamalan's The Last Airbender. This kind of showed the beginning of the end of Avatar, and even though Legend of Korra Season 3's been really good, you can't deny that, you know, Seasons 1 and 2... Eh. 
But this, I can watch... I would honestly find good things out of Legend of Korra Season 2, which arguably was really bad, and Season 1 that I didn't like, and I could find things good in there that I would prefer over the last Airbender film. Keep that... That's how bad it is, guys. I don't need... If you're an Avatar fan, you guys know already how bad this film is. This is like burning a piece of your childhood away. Or, you know, this is the ultimate destruction of some of a good franchise right here. So yeah, I'm, rather than keep on ranting, I'm just going to shut up and let you guys uh, vote. So anyway, guys, what do you out of all of the out of these four films, what do you guys think is the worst? Me personally, if you put a gun to my head and said pick one movie to watch, uh, I'd have to go with Godzilla because of like we did get good things out of that. Like I said, we got a pretty decent animated show. We also got a. We also had Zilla, who, uh, who obviously this mo this ki was turned into his own decent kaiju later on in the future. And again, the soundtrack's not too bad. And again, I think people would be, myself included, would like God's the 1998 Roland Emmerich movie better if it wasn't got called Godzilla. If you called it something else, I think people would be more lenient to it. But the, but the fact that it carries the moniker of Godzilla is is bad enough. But on the other hand, 24, this year alone we got a really good movie to, to make up for that crap, so thank you, Gareth Edwards. Anyway, I've spoken enough. Uh, so yeah, also one more thing, please make sure that when you do these, when you vote, uh, please only vote for one of these films. Uh, please know this or that, just please pick one not to be a jerk, it's just that, you know, one per, you know, only one vote per person, so please only vote for one and only one of these films, and please on this video. I know there's a lot, and I'll probably do this again in the future, so yeah. Anyway, once again, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I can't wait to see which one of these four films do you guys think is the worst.